here. We are back in the studio with my firstborn, Courtney. <laughs> also your favorite. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, we can go with that. How are you, doll? You look fab. Thanks. I have a Blink-182 um, photo shoot after this. Oh, are you Are you part of the band now? I'm like a groupie. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I don't know many groupies who get to go and do the actual photo shoots. So, wow. <laughs> well, it's called social climbing. Oh, okay. Sleeping with the drummer, <laughs> really. Sleeping with the enemy. <laughs> Let me tell you all the people I've slept with over the years. <laughs> okay, we don't need to get into the gory details. <laughs> Just your father and and Caitlin and... I don't need to go into more. Actually, that's fine. Likely, st- you know whose birthday it was? Who? My, my dad's. Oh, oh, it this was. Week. Yeah, it was really nice. I want to say I teared. I choked up at all of the posts that you and your sisters posted for your father. Thanks. It was really, really special. It really was, Mom. It really and like- wasn't going to cry today, but I can't tell you he was such a wonderful father. Yes, I did. We did split up, but he was so there for you as kids <laughs> rating your husbands who was more supportive bruiser or my dad rob oh i don't want to compare <laughs> they both gave me daughters who have made my life enriched my life in more ways than one <laughs> i could never yeah. i could never rank them how about you scott or travis <laughs> i know it's going to shock everyone but Trav is the best. It really doesn't shock anyone. Okay. Uh, yeah. But <laughs> I mean, we could like, have guessed that doll. <laughs> I hope Scott the best, but he was just, I don't know. He just like always was like shitting on my weight and he was just oh, kind of like. Oh, he wasn't. He loves you. He tells me all the time, you know, we had root beer floats last night. <laughs> me and Scott. Disgusting. He came over. We love those. We got, we did a little, you know. A little floater. A little a little marijuana. And then we did. <laughs> and then we had a root beer float. Yeah, that's really into them these great days. for you guys. Oh, um, we need to talk about something very important that happened in our family. What's that? Chloe won the People's Choice Award. Yes. Clap for Chloe. Chloe. (laughs) Literally, you are like the star of the family. She really is. She's really come into her own. You know, Chloe used to not even like doing a red carpet. And now she is the People's Choice of the Year reality star. (laughs) She gets it like every year. It's kind of like monotonous. It's really impressive. And, you know, and it only helps her career. It really does. Yeah. I mean... (laughs) She saved this season. <laughs> I saw you posted this like long ass post and you were like showing her looking at whales. And I was like, wow, riveting. She was really afraid. You know, she really has a she's really got a fear of whales. So she really brought the drama this season. You know, at first we were just having chips and guacamole. <laughs> and then Chloe came into the scene and it was just like riveting. Really? Yeah, I missed that vacation with you guys. Where were you? Probably being pregnant somewhere. <laughs> oh, God. Getting yeah, felt we said up no by a lactating. <laughs> we don't want any lactating in Mexico this year. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> yeah. It looked like a blast, though. I don't remember any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I think it was fun. I think that means it was a really great trip. Anyway, we're so proud of you, Chloe. We couldn't be prouder. And uh, you really have become one uh, everybody's favorite, not just of, you know, the people, but of the family. And she always says she's shocked that she wins. But it's like, Chloe, like, (laughs) you got to own it, sis. I'm like, stop acting so surprised when people like you. Do you ever get shocked? No, I like am the best. I'm the hottest, (laughs) smartest, best mom of all my sisters. That's what we love about you. She doesn't need an award to know she's the greatest. (laughs) I literally don't. Like, I never want to be anywhere that I am. Like, I just want to be home with my kids. Oh, yeah. So, like, take it or leave it, you know? I love to be out. I love to just go from city to city. You know, I've really been traveling a lot lately, and it's really good for me. It really is... Yeah, like the time you talk about when you were a flight attendant and we literally 
can't I, even find or muster the fucks to give. <laughs> Please. I saw so many cities being a flight attendant. It's a fabulous job. Really is. You know, maybe you should get a job. <laughs> Never that. <laughs> Maybe Being a mom is a job. I should push her to get a job. <laughs> okay. I can only use that word. <laughs> okay. You're an old wench. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please. I have the neck of a 32-year-old. What are you talking about? Wait. I took that test, too. And guess how old they said I was? 94. No, 14. <laughs> <laughs> they, 14. They must not have looked at your lower half. She's had four children. <laughs> You've had like 15. Yeah, but I've had it reconstructed twice. I'm sure. They said my <laughs> clavicle was that of a thir- three-year-old. Clavicle? <laughs> you can tell the age of someone by their clavicle. They said I have a really great clavicle. Wow. Well, I wear a lot of of turtlenecks so and you blazers. Do. I really don't show the clavicle often. <laughs> Clearly, your clavicle is not up to par. Not like yours, doll. No, definitely not. Show off the clavicle. Enough, doll. Free the clavicle. <laughs> I think I get it from my dad, Robert. Oh, Pass down a good clavicle. Every time you mention his name lately, I really get choked up. Okay, it's stop really being a, emotional. It's a lot for me to remember all of the times when he raised you. Okay, and you do have his clavicle. That's why I prefer you in a hoodie now. <laughs> Show off the clavicle. Enough, doll. Free the clavicle. <laughs> it's, enough. it's enough. We have to talk about your sister, Kimberly. Are you interested in buying her Birkin bag? <laughs> Literally never that. Why is she selling that old dusty, rusty thing? Well, it's a really special bag. Okay, it was a limited edition Mm-hmm. Birkin. It's a really, you know, it's a relic. It really is. And <laughs> I told her, I said, Kimberly, if you're not using it, you can make a really good, you know, deal off of this. So she's selling it for $69,000. Let me ask you, where does the funds of Kardashian Closet go? Oh, it goes into my church. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> make sure not to get taxed on that, doll. <laughs> Where is this church? No, Kardashian Closet, it, it, it's a really profitable place. You know, we get sent a lot of clothes, a lot of bags. And mm-hmm. so, it, it, you know, we take the money and sometimes we pay for uh, trips or, you know, we <laughs> tips for people. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I really could nice. use a new car if you want to put it towards that fund. You need a new car? Yeah, for Mason. Mason needs Mason's driving. How old have I gotten? Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah. No, Caitlin bought him a four wheeler and I was like, oh, well, there you go. No, he cannot drive that on on your property on the 405. (laughs) He can't. can't. I've seen Caitlin driving a four wheeler on the 405. (laughs) It's wild. She had her golf clubs on her back, too. It's really a sight to be. Yeah, baby. Listen. Who needs a roof when you got a four wheeler, baby? Oh my I got God. right on that four hundred five, baby. Sorry. I didn't mean to say her name. <laughs> say Caitlyn Jenner twice, three times. I come out of the woodworks, you know, <laughs> just like Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> Caitlyn, Caitlyn, Caitlyn. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. Here she is, folks. Right out the four hundred five. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, baby. Am I hallucinating? I tried Molly yesterday. <laughs> And let me tell you, doll, I've seen some shit. (laughs) Did all the skeletons come out of the closet, Chris? Finally. Hey, you know what they say? It always catches up to you, right? It really does. It really catches up to you. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, I have to say, uh, Kimberly's Birkin bag, I, you know, the media really likes to do a lot of, of nasty things, especially to our family. And they said it was dirty. And I said, it is an alligator skin bag. You think the alligators are clean? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. It's really a problem. It's slander and I won't have it. It's really not right because it's 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 a beautiful bag and it's used. So the here's the thing. It's like this is specifically for used things. Yeah. So there's going to be some dust. Absolutely. So like, are people okay? One time I sold a Gucci belt. And let me tell you, it had a little bit of Corey on. There. It had a little wear and tear. Uh, yeah, sure. <clears throat> you can call it that. I'd say it was a little bit of wear and Corey, but... <laughs> This has gone <laughs> off the rails. Anyway, if you guys are interested in buying a Birkin, let us know. I could maybe knock a thousand off, you know, 68,000. <laughs> Honestly, a steal, you guys. 
If really? you're not knocking down our door, something's wrong with your brain. Really? It's a real steal. And it comes with a bottle of 818 inside. So what do you know? <laughs> it's a two for one BOGO deal. <laughs> Listen, I really need to get out of here. Okay. That was, this. <laughs> she's always, she's always got to go. <laughs> yeah. I've extended my stay far too long. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to hang out with your old wench of a mother. <laughs> You're not. It's all right. I'm going to hang out with Chloe. All. Chloe has a has a couple of photo shoots later today. You know, this real this PCA award, People's Choice Award really is is really doing great things for her. Sounds miserable. Have fun you too. Thanks, doll. 